Your search on how to get the perfect audio levels is over. Today, I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way to get perfect audio levels for your YouTube videos with a really cool plugin that uses AI. So let's check it out. I love to put backing track music and sound effects in all of my videos. I think it just adds a whole lot more to the video and personally, I like it. I think it's cool. But throughout the history of my channel, I've gotten lots of different complaints and things like that from people saying they can't hear me, the music is too loud, it's too distracting, and I definitely don't want people leaving my videos because of the music. But in my search to find what are the perfect audio levels for YouTube, I came across a really cool plugin called Alex Audio Butler, and it uses artificial intelligence in order to determine exactly what the volume should be for each individual track and it will adjust it accordingly so your voice stands out above all the rest. And so I'm gonna show you guys how to use this plugin. I'm gonna do it in DaVinci Resolve on the computer here in just a second. But this plugin does work for Adobe Audition and Premiere as well. But let's go ahead and get in front of the computer now. Here we are in the Fairlight page of DaVinci Resolve and I've got a quick little sequence put together for you guys that is pretty typical of what I would do for most of my YouTube videos. We've got a vocal track, a music track, and a couple sound effects tracks. And as you can see over here on the mixer side of things, I've done absolutely nothing when it comes to volume levels. I've done no plugins, no EQ, no dynamics. The only thing that I did do was add a limiter to the main or master track just to keep us from clipping. But let's go ahead and play through this so you guys can hear how this sounds just straight out of the box. This is the Zhiyun Crane 2S. It's a newly released gimbal that is gaining a lot of attention for a lot of really good reasons. I'm gonna be releasing a review video of this gimbal very soon, so if you are not subscribed, now is the time to hit that button and make sure you check that bell so you get notified when I release my review on this really cool gimbal. All right, so as you can hear there, everything is just completely out of sorts. The volume levels are all over the place. It's pretty hard to hear what I'm saying. If I didn't have that limiter on, it would definitely be clipping, and our volume level would be so compressed by YouTube that it would have to drop the volume a lot just because it is way too loud. It's very hard to hear what I'm saying. So now I'm gonna show you guys what Alex Audio Butler can do to fix this for us. So again, we have a vocal track, a music track, and a couple sound effects tracks. And over here, we get a plugin for each one of those. So we're just gonna add our effects. We've got our vocal track, and you can see here, it gives us kind of a little UI for each one of these little plugins that has a few controls between auto volume or our compression. Now. It can handle varying sources, which is really cool because if you have audio that's coming from different things like an on-camera mic, then a lavalier, then a boom mic, you can put it on varying sources and it will auto-adjust those volume levels to make them all match, just simplifying things like crazy. But this is all from a constant source, so we're just gonna put it on a constant source. Compression, I'm not uh, really worried about the way the compression is on this. It's gonna do just its general, which I think is fine for me. And then up here, you can see we get a little status indicator of what Alex Audio Butler is doing. And this is gonna show us when our analysis is complete. But let's continue adding plugins for each one of these tracks. So we've got our music here, and then we've got our sound effects. And so you can have multiple music tracks, multiple sound effects tracks, and you can just keep adding these plugins to each one of them. And you know, let's move that out of the way a little bit. And then we definitely need to make sure to add our master track plug into our, our main track here because this is the one that's gonna just final master everything. And as you can see here, we have our just compression settings again. We're just gonna stick to general. And then for our export target, this is where it makes things perfect because for online, you can see here, it says perfect volume for all web platforms, YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, 
private websites, and etc. And so it's automatically going to adjust all of our volume levels to where it is perfect for YouTube and we're not going to have low volume or have YouTube compress our volume even further. Now I'm going to leave pretty much everything at its defaults. Again, I changed the audio auto volume to constant source. And the only thing that I am going to change is the, the compression of our music or the auto ducking, I should say. I'm going to put it to constraining because I really want that auto ducking to just take that music out while I'm talking so you can clearly hear my voice. Now, one of the key things that we need to do here is allow Alex Audio Butler to analyze our tracks and we need to play the, the sequence in order for it to do that. So let's go ahead and run through it again and you'll kind of hear some of the volume and things like that adjusting as it's kind of analyzing, but we need to play all the way through for it to do its, its final analysis. This is the Zhiyun Crane 2S. It's a newly released gimbal that is gaining a lot of attention for a lot of really good reasons. I'm gonna be releasing a review video of this gimbal very soon, so if you are not subscribed, now is the time to hit that button and make sure you check that bell so you get notified when I release my review on this really cool gimbal. All right, so as you can see there, it's now updating our analysis and now it's updated. You could hear while we were uh, playing that, that you know some of the stuff was changing around a little bit. It sounded a little bit weird, but now it should be perfect. So let's play this again and see what we've got. This is the Zhiyun Crane 2S. It's a newly released gimbal that is gaining a lot of attention for a lot of really good reasons. I'm gonna be releasing a review video of this gimbal very soon, so if you are not subscribed, now is the time to hit that button and make sure you check that bell so you get notified when I release my review on this really cool gimbal. All right, so now you can see that it just set all of our volume levels and everything exactly where it needed to be. If I wanted to, I can just upload this to YouTube the way it is and not do anything else, which I think it would be perfectly fine for that. If me personally, the only thing that I would probably do is add some noise reduction to my, my vocal track just because you can hear the fan from my computer and stuff like that in the background. But other than that, it would be perfectly fine to upload this and no more complaints about music level and not being able to hear what I'm saying. There's a link down in the description below where you can pick up Alex Audio Butler for yourself. Let me know what you guys think of it. Hit that thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Subscribe if you guys are not, but I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for stopping by.